Hi guys, this is Surendra Ben and welcome back to Hitman Shorthand video series. These videos are completed in 30 days in 30 videos. So this is day 11. In this lesson we are going to see about halving. Halving is nothing but uh, breaking our writing the stroke at half of the length what happens if you write half of the length of a stroke so we will see first of all uh, the curved strokes m n l and r so for m if you half and take it will add D at the end so as like N if you half and take it will add D if you only half it will add T at the end So, if, the, uh, if any consonant or any consonant stroke or uh, anything is half, that means either it can have T or either it can have D uh, and the end, like if you want to write pit. You can write like this is P. Before how we are writing is like this. It. Now you can write like uh, like uh, it is P. You can write half of the length. So and here. It is like pit okay I will write again this is the most important it is pit and it is now pit okay so D will be uh, adding either T adding uh, depending upon the rule mm, most of the single sh I mean thin strokes will be adding T and uh, strong strokes I mean is there B so it is a strong stroke okay it will be adding D bid if you want to write bit you have to add another T so if you want to write pad you have to add D because to distinguish pat and pad we have to take a measures like this okay. we will see about uh, this uh, stride strokes later but uh, first of all we will be concentrating on curve strokes curve strokes first we are looking at yum so this is yum this is yum if you write half of the length that means it is yum yum plus that I mean plus M plus T. Uh, if you write thick, very thick, this means M plus T. If you write 
light stroke it will be t adding at the end if you write strong there is no other um, i mean if you write uh, very heavy stroke it's same yeah there is uh, no uh, rule like uh, p and b i mean p and b okay so yum is same there is no strong uh, other uh, other name for the strong stroke of the m so we can write this thing same as yum if you write this is basic yum if you write half of the length it will be like yum plus t if you write strongly it will be like b adding at the end of the yum so that's it about uh, yum and yum so i will be writing all these examples now so first one is made so made we have to write thick stroke so basically this is yum okay and this is yum made bad madam 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 all right madam moderate moderate mod moderate this r should be like thin stroke but uh, i will write again no problem Yum should be thick. R should be light. Not red. Red. So second position. Not red. T will be like as usual stroke. So you have to show the difference. Like uh, uh, M should be half. M is half. So R should be very big. T should be very big. Okay. It is how the length you have to write, okay? And remaining all you have to write like uh, fully. Modern, 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 modern. R plus n. Modern, modern, modern. Okay. I think you can add the hook form also. Any. Modern hook form is there, so R plus N, R plus N, okay. So seamed, seamed, circle yes also can be seamed, okay. M plus D name. Named, so it should be thick. Named, ashamed, ashamed. Sorry, ashamed. Assumed, assumed. So assumed we cannot write uh, circle because starting vowel is there. So we have to write basic form of yes, M D. Assumed. 
this is before part this is after part so we will write r is zoomed okay and so and tick n and and okay half of the length make sure that it will be half of the length signed a circle signed sound same we will write sound this is before part okay I will write clearly sound like that okay. intend intend so we will be writing like a in ten in ten it should be half of this thing and uh, it should be dark I mean heavy stroke so this is n t if you assume n d should be somewhat thick okay this is n d so remember that if you write uh, light stroke it will be D if you write dark stroke it will be heavy stroke it will be N D designed D designed mm. designed will be like uh, Actually, if you write like this, it will be me. But we are hopping, making this to into half, so it will be adding d extra d. If you want to write neat, clean and neat, you can write like neat, thick stroke. I mean thick dot, neat. Okay, it is light. It is heavy. So. If you write thick L, thick R, same, it will be adding D at the end. If you write uh, thin L, thin R, it will be adding T at the end. So, I will write all these examples for you. Not all these things, but uh, I will take only two examples. Okay. Build. Because uh, we have to write thick strokes, we will increase the brush. So B L plus D. So it is L and it is L D. It is R. It is R D. Thick. Okay. All these things. It is not thick but it is thick it is basic form of L it won't be in thick but we will write as thick it become L plus D okay it is now build mailed M mailed nail I mean and back yelled nailed there won't be okay 
there won't be gap it will be like a different field yeah no no you have to show the difference here okay uh, you have to show the difference it is half so you can write like a mailed yum ld mailed okay now field yeah ld field next yield same board r b art board okay afford of for yeah Oops. i will write again yeah and rd afford afford okay. afford you will write a fair like this uh, fair like like this we will write afford in that we will write half of the length we will write up to here okay desired Desired card card it should be like so long and it should be hard. So practice other examples. It is thin M N N R L. Mate it is yum and it is half length mate neat it is yum it is half length uh, it is half length Neat belt B thick B B L D. I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. B L D belt light L. Okay, light half L. Felt Yeah Yeah Felt Built 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 Actually it is built so it will be like uh, B L D I saw E Built You can write all these things I will write this thing Bolts Bold. Yes, you can write circle at the end also. Bold. R start. So start. I mean start. Okay. Yes. T R T R T. Light R. Light R half length, it will be like RT. Sort. 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 Okay. It is sounding as A, but there's no A. So we will write like a half length R. A dash at the starting dash part. That's it. Uh, you practice other examples, it will be easy between L and D, R and D. Uh, it should be like 
rt ld at the at every time if uh, any vowel is coming in between l d r d we have to write full l full r like carried i will be only uh, telling this example carried S carried we have to write full strokes because there is a vowel between r and d if you take the example of cared cared we probably write as like this cared okay but it is carried so there is a extra vowel is there cared is second position dot not first position delayed followed load laid read read <coughs> so you have to write r separately d separately continuous strokes must be written separately okay so attitude continuous strokes means uh, if you take attitude at t attitude okay everything will be in the same line that is called as a continuous line what we have to do is we can addition we can separate these two by attitude we will write this length uh, very next to the stroke at the same level at same level or uh, somewhere above okay i will show the example for attitude attitude so r uh, no vowel should be placed only after writing full stops so we will be writing t at t tude so we can write uh, uh, half of the length t it can represent t plus d at t t there is no uh, rule that uh, if half, if you make half length it should be uh, it should come t it should come d sometimes for the stride strokes there is no special rule okay for uh, curve strokes there is a rule for m n l and r thick and dark versions t and d separately but uh, stride strokes these things can have um, either t either d pressing on the situation position okay situation only so attitude like credited cre credi ted credi ted credited td we will write separately okay treated uh, like a tree treat ted this is half length this is half length treat okay you can write uh, treat like uh, treat ted okay td like uh, post dated post you can write either like uh, post post uh, no no you can write like uh, post day dead you can write like post date okay post up until here day dead td separately we write promptness uh, we can write up to prompt and then ness separately so it is special use of this joining okay here we will write empty promptness so like this from yum pro 
font next we will write separately as full stroke full length n okay font disjoint ness indented ness in that that you can write half of the length okay in that ness indebtedness indebtedness this may be a did or did dt or dd okay basing on the situation we will write okay indebtedness of it out fit like half this is big this is after so fit out fit is join okay half of bf fit so it will be confusing at the beginning but uh, if you keep on practicing it will be very easy do you have page full of practice for sean hook no no i forgot to edit this for t and d i mean half having full saying aloud so i said already if you have textbook even if you don't have textbook try it in newspapers textbooks okay and in the internet also so finally happy valentine's day it is february 14 today so have fun if you have any doubts please comment in, in my facebook page pitman shorthand pitman lessons or in the google plans pitman how to learn pitman video lessons or in the youtube page okay have fun enjoy the day